Have you ever heard the saying, attachments equal misery? Unfortunately, that saying is pretty accurate. And today I'm gonna to actually share with you how you can begin to let go of the attachments in your life that have led to frustration, irritation, aggravation, stress, anxiety, fear, depression, and ultimately just in general, misery. And it all begins right now. The, the problem is that from the day we're born up until about the time that we're about seven, our brains are really functioning at more of a theta brainwave, especially in those early few years. Our brains are really functioning at a high alpha and theta brainwaves. Now these alpha and theta brainwaves basically put us into this trance-like state of conscious living in which we are really continually absorbing and learning. Oh, by the way, you can actually learn how to enter these states and learn at higher levels, even now as an adult or a teenager, however old you are, even as a, an elderly individual, you can learn how to do that. I'm gonna drop a link below right now for you to begin to explore that. Courses, classes below on exploring that. Back to the point. When you're a child, you're functioning in this trance-like state. And as a result, you're just being spoon-fed information. You're being spoon-fed really an identity. And so if you grew up here in America, America is just an idea. It's lines drawn on a map somewhere along the line. People came in. They ran the other people off the continent. We ran the, uh, the natives off of this continent. And we basically put a bunch of lines on a map and said, this is America and this belongs to us. This belongs to a government. We, we do this with everything. Well, for, for some reason, we think we can own shit. Now, America has become an idea, but it's much more than an idea to a large number of people in America. To a very large number of people in America, we call them patriots, they are very obsessed and would identify as an American. If you see American flags hanging in someone's yard, it's probably because they have a strong identity in America as an American. Now, there's nothing wrong with it. If you're watching this video and you are uh, have an identity as an American, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with American values or virtues or anything along those lines. I'm simply trying to call to your mind right now and help you understand that America is an idea and a set of ideas. When we identify in the idea, ultimately it produces misery. Now, if I'm an American, and I see America going in a direction that isn't the direction that I think it should be going or that I think it was founded upon, and then all of a sudden I'm a mess and I'm just pulling my hair out and I'm stressed out because I don't know who's going to be elected or, 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 or why we're doing what we're doing economically and so on and so forth. And I see people all the time who are political messes because they are strongly identified as American or as Chinese or Australian or whatever. And, and this, this applies to every aspect of our life, from white, black, uh, Asian, Latino. Every aspect of our life becomes an identity. We are basically allowing the environment that we grow up in to teach us and reveal to us what and who we are. Now, this is where our identity comes in. This is what I am. I am a white American. <sighs> No, that's not actually what I am. That's what I've identified as up until this point. And that identity then also attaches to many more conscious ideas. And it can even attach to the sofa that you're sitting on while watching this video or to the iPhone that you're watching this video on. Now all of a sudden that becomes a great attachment. I'm attached to my technology. And these attachments are, you know, on the, on the one hand they seem fine, but if you're attached to your iPhone and you drop that there iPhone while you're watching this video and it shatters now, ah, I'm so frustrated. Ah. This is the problem. You see, here's the deal. From the time we were born until now, we've been allowing 
We've been learning from the outside in. In other words, we've been using our senses, our perceptional abilities to bring in information. In essence, that's exactly what we are. I'm gonna take you and go into a little bit of science now. Science has revealed that what we are at an atomic level is light. We are all beings of light. We have these things called biophotons that actually make up the cells. And basically what that is, is it is a light. It is a biological source of light that is not only uh, emitting light, that we know that we all emit light, we, we emit energy, we emit light, but it is also um, it is also improving upon or increasing that same light. In other words, it is continually revealing or bringing forth information. The problem with this is that a lot of times what's happening is when we learn how to perceive and we're functioning at beta brain waves, which are very rational reason brain waves, and now we're bringing information in, we become products of our environment. So if you grow up poor, you remain poor. If you grow up rich, you might remain rich. If you grow up and, you're, and your family is very athletic and healthy, then you think in your mind, I'm going to be athletic and healthy. If your family is obese and lazy, then you think in your mind, this is just the norm and you stay obese and lazy. So the, the problem is that we've become products of our environment because we've lived an outside in, from an outside in perceptional way and we've never been told that we can create from the inside out and so we begin to learn how to let go of attachments when we first shake free of the identity that is found in the ideas or the things that we've learned from the outside in we must recognize we manifest what we are conscious of the first place that you're conscious is inside not outside but if you're only used to living an outside in life, then you become very conscious of your environment. Instead of the inward environment, you're conscious of the outer environment. And this creates a lot of pain. It creates, the, because those attachments lead to a lot of misery and a lot of pain. I mean, I see people on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly basis that are coming to me and with problems, with painful issues. My husband left me and I'm a mess. My, my children don't like me. I'm uh, addicted to drugs. I'm, I'm, I'm obese and I need to drop weight because I'm, I'm diabetic and I'm very unhealthy. I have heart disease that runs in my family. I have this, I have that. And it leads to just a, a shit ton of pain. Not to mention just the sheer idea of possessions and how those possessions, when we become attached to them, they end up uh, complicating our life. And when we simplify our life, we have much more lucid living. We have, uh, we are able to see more clearly, create more clearly. And so we have all this pain and we're, and then when we are attached to something and we lose it, then there's pain associated with that. So now I'm attached, I've got this beautiful girlfriend. Oh my God, she's my lover. And now she doesn't like me anymore. Ah, I'm heartbroken. Instead of just enjoying the one we're with, now we have to attach to them. They have to become ours in some way because we have, we genuinely believe that we are the identity that found this person. If you live as an I, you will always attach. To shake free from the I, we have to begin by changing, shifting our beliefs and the patterns. And, and in other words, in order to do this, you must purpose yourself to feel. Feel. You don't feel where you have been, but feel where you want to go. In other words, don't feel like the person that you were, but learn to within feel what you want to create, feel where you want to go, feel how you want to be. Most people are living projections of a past life. They're consciously aware of where they've been and so they continually consciously and subconsciously recreating those same stories. That's all coming from a place of identity. To begin to shake free of that identity, we must, and this also is a part of renewing the subconscious, we must begin to um, change the way we feel, be on purpose with how we feel, not from the outside in, but from the inside out. As you do this, you, the somebody that you've believed that you are becomes nobody. Somebody becomes nobody. And let me tell you, it's a lot of work to be somebody. And it's effortless.
to be Mr. Nobody. But when you recognize that nobody, now we're entering into a quantum world of energy that you can become, attract, and manifest whatever you would like because the attachments of the somebody are no longer interfering or getting in the way, damming up the flow, the energetic flow of your true uh, self. And, um, and, and so this is really beautiful. In this place of being Mr. Nobody, freedom is there because you're no longer bound up by ideas and concepts. Flow is there because you're no longer having to exist an outside in world in the beta brainwaves of the outside in world. Creativity exists there. Your imagination begins to flourish because you're spending much more time activated the pineal gland and all of the, the beautiful chemistry in your body that was given to you, that is literally in your being for creative purposes. And then exploration takes place because I'm no longer afraid to move forward to explore new things and do new things and experience new things and try new things because I'm no longer being dictated to by my past self or I'm no longer a projection of my yesterday. This is absolutely an essential for you if you want to begin to create, attract, and manifest the life of your dreams. If you want to let go of the pain and the suffering of the self. I love you. I know that this will help. So I want you to drop your comments, questions below, and I'll be happy to field those and chat with you about this. And uh, check out the link below right now. If you haven't already subscribed, I don't know what the fuck you're waiting for. Subscribe, man. Subscribe. Your life will be changed. And check out the next video. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.